So you want to play Third Strike with some of the big boys. Well, in order to do that, you're going to need to play Flight Kit. And I'm going to show you just how to do that. You know, download their installer. You're going to go to FlightKid.com, download their installer. I'm going to be doing this for Windows. You can do it on Mac. You can do it on Linux. We're going to do it on Windows. Download that. Follow the instructions. Agree to everything blindly. I'm going to put it in my D drive. Uh, just make sure you have a folder ready for it. While that's installing, you do have to register an account. Uh, just type in a name. Uh, look at that. It's done. You have your account. And you can go back to your installation. Uh, agree to DirectX. Let that install. And pow, it's done. Uh, it might, you know, it'll tell you it's installed. If you go to the folder you put it in, I put it in my placeholder folder, uh, you'll be greeted with these contents that'll be in there now. Um, you don't want to use FightCade 1, uh, you want to use FightCade 2. Um, but now the important thing is to get your ROMs. And I'll pro post this link with this video, or if you know me, I'll send you these that I have legally acquired through downloading off of my CPS3 board that I own. Um, just give me these two zip files. So you'll download those and uh, wowee they're they're downloaded. Uh, this ROM folder might look a little tantalizing. You can honestly put it wherever but where I personally put it is an emulator. Uh, FB Neo which is the emulator that you use in that ROMs folder and then uh, you can just put them in there. Uh, you're gonna want to leave them zipped, unlike most emulators. You just leave the content zipped, and Fight K does the rest. So we can go back here, um, run it, uh, and you'll be greeted with this. And you'll sign in with the username that you just created. Obviously, mine that I definitely remember. This is what I go by normally. Um, and you load up. And this is where normally where people get a little confused. It's pretty self-explanatory up to this point. But um, the first thing you want to do is find your room. And what rooms are is where like, lobbies where people play their games. People play 2002, 98, KOF. Lots of KOF games. Not so many people playing Street Fighter Alpha 2. Where most people play is Third Strike. And that's what we're here for. So we're going to join this room. Uh, and it'll appear over here. And you can click on it. And people will talk. You can see everyone's rankings. It'll tell you if they're wired or not. If they have this uh, little exclamation point, that means they're on a wireless connection. Uh, if you don't have a wire, get one. <laughs> or not as many people will want to play with you. Uh, usually people do, but it's whatever. Anyway, moving on. But the first thing you want to do is actually run test game, which is up in the top right corner here. And you're going to get a bunch of errors and all your missing content. But why is that we put our ROMs in the ROM folder? Because we didn't configure our ROM paths. Um, you can slap this in there, plug your folder, wherever it is, uh, it'll scan. And you close it, test it again, and it should run just fine. But hey, you got third strike now, but nothing works. It's also really, really loud. much of a banger as that intro is, uh, you don't want it to be the reason you go deaf. So next thing to do is set up your controls. Um, you're just going to press map game inputs, input map game inputs, or you can just press F5, which is what you'll normally do. Um, I'll just turn that off really quick. Um, for You can either play on stick or pad. Some people play on keyboard and it's not too far from a mix box, but uh, if you're planning on doing any quarter circles or, or full circles, uh, I wouldn't recommend playing on keyboard. It's a little awkward. Um, generally, 
you just want to double click, go down the list for all the P1 uh, inputs. I put coin and start to the same thing. Uh, you just go up, down, left, right, dip, 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 and you're good to go. And if you want to get past the screen, you just press start and coin at the same time. Uh, and you don't pick this character, you pick any other character. Uh, just don't pick this one. But yeah, you're good to go. If you want to challenge people, you can like double click on their name. If you're the kind of person who wants to have people come to them, you type games, it's usually the way to go. Uh, there I am. Uh, and you're good to go. Uh, I think, you know, that's really all you need to know. You're set. There's one last thing I wanted to cover that I don't think a lot of people talk about is um, the biggest complaint in Fightcade is that there's no training mode. It's just an emulation of the arcade cabinet. And in a game where practicing combos and labbing stuff out to get really consistent is really important, it sure would be nice to have a training mode. And there is something new in Fightcade 2 that you can run scripts, and someone has made a script for a sort of hacked training mode that's actually pretty nice. Um, here's the link up here. Uh, I'll probably link it with, you know, whatever I have. I've already downloaded this one. Um, you just basically download it, unzip it, uh, put it in your, let's see, placeholder folder, and it'll look something like this. Um, you can't run anything from here. You're going to want to do it inside um, your test game emulation window. And for training mode, um, make sure you have your coin and your start bound separately. So you have your two players, uh, if you don't have a second controller you can just bind some makeshift controls to the keyboard. So you're in a match, no training mode. It's usually really annoying because his health bar goes down and if you want to you know, restart a whole combo then you gotta start a new game. It's really not an efficient way for practicing, so what you want to do now that you have your script downloaded, you're going to go into Game, Lewis Scripting, New Lewis Script Window, and you browse, and you go to that folder that you went to, right? And you click on the Lewis Script, and then you click Run, and your game will probably freak out for a little bit, but that's okay. So now you can, you'll, you'll know it's running when you got these little, uh, you know, an input maps. It'll be on both sides. It'll tell you, you know, what you're pressing. Uh, and if you want to actually go into the training mode menu, press start, whatever you bound start to, you'll have this nifty little window. And you can tell him what to do, you can set his inf his health to infinite, um, you can set so stun happens, there's a bunch of little things. I have heard there are little issues with, you know, combo counters, but if you're just starting out, that doesn't really matter. Um, you can have it delay your input, or show your input history. And what's neat about that one is it even shows like when your last frame was. Um, so if I wanted to practice combos, and I wanted him to stand, I can do that. And his health stays. And that's really nice. Um, that's really all there is to know. Um, it's pretty simple, but again, not like super clear. So, um, I hope this helps. Thanks to whoever's watching. Good luck out there.